For three long weeks, floodwaters have covered large parts of Jigawa State in the north of Nigeria. Farmlands and damaged roads have become temporary fishing grounds. With their crops rotting underwater, some farmers salvage what they can. More than 100,000 of them have seen this year's harvest wiped out. From uh, harvesting uh, to processing, this, the whole chain has broken down and uh, it, is, it, is, it is massive loss of uh, money to the economy and it will have multiplier effect on the, on the general uh, economy of the state. It's really a huge, huge loss for us. Only a few of the state's rice farms escaped the floodwaters. More than a thousand hectares of this rice farm has been underwater for more than three weeks now. The owners say the crop is rotten and lost. He, like many other farmers, will have to find a way of feeding their families before the next harvest. That is, if the floodwaters don't return. Shuaibu Abubakar borrowed money to expand his farm here in the Hadeja Valley in the hopes of more crops and bigger profits. I started last year and made a lot of money. This year, I took a loan of $2,500 to increase output. I lost everything. Experts are blaming climate change for the floods and are warning of long-term consequences. It is going to retard in the first place the drive for food security and ultimately government may have to take very serious emergency measures uh, to meet the immediate needs of those, the victims that have been affected. This year's disaster came when Nigeria's borders are still close to rice imports, a staple for most families. In one of the states most affected, officials are helping to ease the pain of some farmers by giving out seeds. Uh, we are now in the process of giving them uh, hybrid seeds, uh, fast maturing seeds, so that they will use the residual master at least to, to get something out of their land. But that may not be enough to save the farmers from economic ruin. Across 18 states in Nigeria, more than 200,000 hectares of crops have been destroyed. In addition to lives, crops and homes, there's been a significant damage to infrastructure. Forced to ride canoes where highways existed, these villagers narrowly escaped death when their wooden boat capsized. A reminder that though the flood has receded, the threat to life remains. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Gujungu, Nigeria.